Welcome back. It's 411. The 911 calls from the shooting of Isaac Goodloe, the third in Carol Stream, have now been released. Tia Ewing listened to those calls. Uh, she spoke with the family's attorney as well. Tia, how long uh, were these tapes? Well, the initial 911 call is about three minutes long, and that's one that I definitely listened to. You also hear seven minutes where police talk with the dispatcher. The call is from February 3rd when Isaac Goodloe, the third, allegedly got into an argument that turned physical with his girlfriend. That's when her sister picked up the phone and dialed 911. Now in the tapes you hear her and you also hear Carol Stream police asking for a key to enter Goodloe's locked apartment. He jumped to her. She came to our house screaming to cry. Her eye is black and her lip is busted. Okay, are there any weapons involved? No, I got a weapon though. A stick to bust his head. Is he still there? Yes, he had in the apartment. If you try to get a hold of some after hours person over here to try to get a key to this unit. I'm trying to get into uh, the 260 building. Maybe if they have an emergency maintenance number or something. Yeah, I'll find one. So the attorney says to really pay close attention to the point that Isaac Goodlow did not have a weapon in this case. Now you can hear officers knocking on the door in the background of these tapes. In less than a second of Carroll Stream Police getting a call from maintenance, they enter Goodlow's village apartment, his Village Brook apartment, and start shooting. Just last week, all six of the officers' names were released after the family's attorney, Andrew M. Stroth, filed a federal civil rights lawsuit. The attorney says the 911 calls further prove that Goodlow's rights were violated. Less, less than a second. They busted the door open and shot. And, and, you know, to go in with your hand on the trigger, I mean, it just, you look at the video and you think it's a military operation when it should have never happened. And the Goodloe family's lives are changed forever. He was a beloved member of the Goodloe family. And, and we hope Carol Stream will do the right thing. And, and instead of wasting taxpayer money defending ind indefensible cases, they will put in policies and procedures to make sure this never happens again. It's been over four months, and DuPage County State's Attorney Robert Berlin has the entire file on this case. It will be up to him if charges are filed against any of those six police officers. I did reach out to Carol Stream for a comment on this, and so far we haven't heard back.